We're back. Uh, for the last five years, my next guest has done dozens of dead-on impressions on Saturday Night Live. Let's take a look at him as President Clinton critiquing the recent debates. Oh, no, the situation in the Middle East is out of control. What are we going to do, Al Gore? Well, I propose we calculate the ratio of an isosceles triangle and we divide it by... What the hell is he talking about? I don't know. Nobody knows. But, 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 but is George W. much better? Subliminable? <laughs> Unacceptable? <laughs> Can y'all say unelectable? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks Thank so you. much for coming. Thank you. This is a, uh, this is, you do such a good, <laughs> don't fear him. You do such a great, He's like a nice man. You, you do such a great Bill Clinton. <clears throat> this must yeah. be a strange time for you. I mean, because you've almost become this guy. You've almost become President Clinton. He's about to leave. Are you going to miss him? Well, I think uh, the uh, planet will miss him um, in a way because, you know, how it's, it, it, if nothing else, the Clinton presidency was fun. It was really fun, yeah. It was a good time. <laughs> I mean, every day he's in a different jam. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and, and not just the fender bender. You know, the kind of stuff James Bond can't get out of. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you, know you know, he gets caught on camera lying. How does he get out? How does he get out of it? He, by debating the meaning of the word is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Hey, President Clinton be like, I believe James Bond would have needed a jet pack. <laughs> to get out of that. <laughs> what, what's, you, do a great, you do a great Al Gore. What is, you must learn a lot about the guy by studying him for the impression. Give us some insights into your Gore impression. Well, Ken, first of all, uh, he, the first thing, I, I got to meet him, uh, I guess it was a couple of weeks ago. And the first thing I noticed was that he talks like other people type. <laughs> <clears throat> it, it's as if he's somehow at the keyboard and speaking. Uh -huh. But 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 may I stand? Oh yep, yeah, please go know, ahead. If you, you, the next thing I noticed was that the uh, I don't know if you guys realize this, but the, the vice president's um, uh, uh, head and uh, torso are detachable parts. <laughs> <clears throat> He, he, he can't, for some reason, this, there's a swip, there's a, from here up is a, it rotates on an axis. <laughs> <laughs> so like, if you say, hey Al, he can't go, hi. <laughs> it, he has to stop, plant, and pivot. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> He was very, very nice. He, yeah. uh, he sort of, uh, he uh, broke my uh, impression of him down into a molecular structure. <laughs> uh, broke out the easel, uh, easel and flip charts. And he, he sort of looked at me and he said, you know, I really do think you've got me down. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm a little hoarse. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so <clears throat> you'd, he'd, he'd break... He breaks words down too, right? I mean, he just breaks them down like into separate pieces. Yeah, he'll he'll say something like um, he'll say uh, um, they're for the power powerful, we're for the people. <laughs> <laughs> like there's a dash in people. <laughs> um, yeah, he, but 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 it's it's sort of like a, let's invest in healthcare. Education. I'm happy this country is going stronger. I'm going to tell you what, I am excited. Yeah. He needs a new Pentium chip. You, do, uh, you don't, do, uh, don't, you don't do George W. Bush on Saturday Night Live, no. but you do have observations mm. uh, about Bush, and you do sort of a Bush impression? Well, I, I don't really, uh, because I like, I, after having watched Will Ferrell's, I, I like his so much, but 
I did notice uh, um, in watching him that um, he, he's amazingly confident. I mean, you got to figure if your dad buys you a baseball team, you, you know, you, 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 you think things are going to turn out right for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, on the planet. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, he has this thing where, like, everything is with, about the American people. What America's looking for is someone to set a hopeful vision for the future. What America wants is someone to speak to them with their eyes closed, like I, <laughs> I, I, I discovered if I close my eyes, I can disappear. <laughs> Do you like his, uh, he's got, him and Cheney are kind of funny together. They're... Well, Cheney, if Cheney, could I, if Cheney would walk, if Cheney could, if I, we haven't seen him walk, but I picture him walking like this, like, <laughs> you know, kind of like that. And he, his mouth, he talks out of the side of his mouth like a gangster. <laughs> yeah, I got to report of a New York Times. <laughs> now, you, uh, there's been all this talk this election hmm. about people have been starting to write that, that television comedy, that late night shows that have Saturday some night kind Live, of, yeah. yeah, that Saturday Night Live have, have an effect on what's actually happening in the campaigns and on people's opinions. Do you uh, believe that's true? I, I, first of all, I don't know how they know it's true. You know, but second of all, you know, we're telling jokes. I mean, these are gags, you know what I mean? We're out there yucking it up. And if people are electing their president from jokes, it's just like, how far away from Mad Max and the Thunderdome are we? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It just yeah. seems so bizarre. It's just like, get, 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 get. And then, oh, I like that guy. <laughs> uh, you know, it's sort, of, it's sort of like, that's got to be in the Book of Revelation. <laughs> One of the signs that it's yes, all going to end. The Four yeah. Horsemen of the Apocalypse and Saturday Night Live. Yeah. And uh, throw out, Mother Mary to throw out the first pitch and we're done. Now, you, you do, uh, because you do Al Gore and you mm -hmm. do an impression of Al Gore, you obviously must be hoping for that reason that he gets elected because then you get to keep doing him on the show. Yeah, I do. I, I, um, I, <laughs> well, I could start an all boy band, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> sorry. I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't sing with Tesh is laughing at you, yeah. <laughs> I can't sing I think sing it's a good with, idea. Well, um, yeah, I do hope he gets uh, elected. I, I could use a gig. Yeah. <laughs> now, that aside, would you, would you vote for him? I, I would not vote for George W., however, because... Here's why. I graduated from the University of Florida with a 2.1 average. And... <laughs> And that was with cheating. <laughs> and I was part of an independent study program to determine that if you drank a quart of vodka a day for four years, uh, would it affect your grades? Yeah. And, and it turns out it does. <laughs> See, then I can't vote for George W. Bush for that reason because I want the I want the president of the United States to be smarter than me. <laughs> you know, I want him to be brighter than yeah. me. He's not smarter than me. <laughs> He's not. He's I mean, doing well. Lo lots of people are. <laughs> yeah. Most people, but not him. Yeah. Uh, well, this weekend, uh, you guys are doing a show. Charlize Theron is hosting Saturday Night Live. And Sunday night at 9 o'clock, NBC is going to air Saturday Night Live's Presidential Bash 2000 special, which actually has the two candidates in it, right? That's absolutely right. That's very cool. Thank Yucking you so it much. Up. <laughs> Yucking it up. Daryl Hammond. Thanks, Daryl. That was great. Daryl Hammond, everybody. Squirrel Nut Zippers coming up. We'll be right back.